that on Sunday. Let's start on a note of celebration. The chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Finance, Honorable James Abion Faliki, is one of the recipients of honorary doctorate degree at the 6th and 7th convocation ceremony of the Federal University Lokoja in Kogi State. This is in recognition of his contribution to the growth of democracy, particularly local council development, electoral reforms, executive advisory roles, national ethics and values, as well as due process in public procurements. Let's share the highlights with you. Therefore, partner, to seek the understanding and cooperation of all Nigerians to be patient with his, this administration as it is, is diligently pursues the Renew Hope agenda. Every graduation day in all citadels of learning is a day of joy and, and of new beginnings, bringing a renewed hope to the development of the whole society of the university. Graduating students are that hope, a hope for the upliftment of the society and the environment in which they find themselves. It is a day for the renewed hope for better economy, better financial and better social responsibility of expert management of resources of the nation geared towards the delivery of new leaves of life to the people of Nigeria. Graduation days are days that define liberty of the mind of students who are believed to have been tutored and who have not only passed through the university but have in turn allowed the ethos of the university culture pass through them. I sincerely facilitate with the honorable doctorate degree, degree awardees for the materials achievements during their lifetime. We are also proud of those first class honors degrees. We congratulate the combined years set, a, uh, years set graduates for their meritorious attainments and their parents and we wish, we wish you success in your future endeavors. The Vice Chancellor, the Federal University will be graduating 2,738 students in its six and seven combined convocation. I will only give the summary of the table for six sets of our graduating students. All right, Jiri. One thing that caught my attention here is the recognition of his contribution to the growth of democracy, particularly local council development electoral reforms. Starting from that local council development, don't forget that uh, was, was uh, have you lost count of the number of times was Ojudu uh, local council development uh, uh, chairman and he was the chairman of uh, a chairman in Lagos State that time. Yes. Um, he's the first chairman of Ojudu local government. Um, because I was split into three at that time. And okay. Ojodu, Ojodu local government, we had uh, Onigwongbo as well, and, and uh, Ikeja. The original Ikeja. So, yes. So I was the first chairman, I was chairman of uh, Lagos uh, chairman. And um, he's been very supportive of that particular university. And um, it's not a surprise that they decided to honor him. Uh, and recognition of his hard work in the National Assembly and um, even in his constituency of uh, Ikeja, the constituency that he has represented for a record four times in the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. So well, it's a day, uh, yesterday was a day of joy for him and for mm -hmm. his immediate family. Uh, my parents were there live to um, Abisi. Yes, and the Olori, they were there to uh, rejoice with him, and uh, so many of his friends as well. I think this is thoroughly deserved, and um, I'm sure that this will pour, spur him to do a lot more um, in terms of uh, um, deepening democracy in our country. Beyond what we see, um, you know, beyond what we see on uh, TV and everything, publicity, when you go to anywhere in the Kedja local government, federal constituency, its constituency, there's one of the one, uh, members of the House of Representatives that you could feel is impacts 
despite the fact that it's the lawmaker representing them. But in terms of development, tangible development, I can name roads yeah. in the area of um, grammar school, Akiyode, and environ that has been tired, courtesy of uh, this man. Well, I think that um, it's not every politician that you, you know, you hear their names, you know. You don't even, some are even house of, um, they're in house of. In, Rep, in Lagos, representing Lagos, I don't know. The terms, you don't even hear them. Just sit down. In the case of uh, Honorable Faleke, uh, I think since 2023, since 2003, yeah. when he was uh, the executive chairman, of the new local government. He has never looked back. I've been living in Ikeja mm -hmm. since 1992. Mm -hmm. So At least. I've never met him before. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I tell you that you just think that in Somalia that Ikeja is like a state as, and he is the governor of that state. Because every, he is the governor of that area. Yes, yes, yes. Because every street you go, you instead that you see Marwa given by Faleke, Mm. Well, you see, uh, Kope. Kope, you know, in fact, I went very close to my office. It's almost about 20 packed by people, you know. And I was all weekend, everybody was going to say, Faleke is coming to Onibongo area. To, you know, people from of all tribes, of all religions, of all. So, and this thing has been going on since, uh, did, did, you know. Did, did, did. I'm happy that uh, Ashwagi was able to identify him as well back in 2023. I mean, 2003. And then... Um, I'm glad that he has shot himself up as a national figure, you know, because it's not just in Lagos State that people are talking about him. Mm. Even in his home state and even beyond, if you go to other areas, people are mm. mentioning his name. Because everywhere. And if you come to his constituents, you wonder whether the same people in house already get the same salary or they get, he gets more than them. Honestly. Because you see a lot of... Projects. So at 63, I think he still has uh, a lot of uh, things to do for this country. So I pray that... He rises more on the political scale mm. so that he can contribute more to nation building. I think it's one of the leaders Nigerians should look up to. He's a huge asset that many people you know, are ready to testify, the poor, the rich, men and women. I think he has actually been able to stamp his you know, feet on the sand of time. Mm. And I want to correlate him for the great job he has been doing for so many years without looking back. You know, we're not surprised when he was given the um, secretary to the presidential campaign council that big responsibility and that's led to the all progressive congress winning that election everything was on his shoulder yes um what many people do not know is that he's um, a natural leader um, he's, he was born to lead uh, people can develop leadership qualities but there are people that um, just uh, have it naturally bestowed on them by by god um, right from Madula Zizata uh, Memorial College where um, graduated he was um, house captain of uh, Himege House at that time he was involved in sports for the school he could do virtually every conceivable sport he could he could play virtually every sport. He was a fantastic volleyball player, and Abdulaziz Atta even got to the final of the Sholadoye Cup in Kwara State at that time. And they lost to Ofa Grammar School that produced one of Nigeria's greatest volleyballers mm. in the name of Sunday James. And Ofa Grammar School eventually became national champion after beating Abdulaziz Atta Memorial College, 3-1 in the final of the Sholadoye Cup. I still remember as a little boy w uh, watching. And he eventually, even during his youth service, he got special recognition, you know, as an outstanding core member. So everywhere uh, he's found himself, he's always acquitted himself well as a leader. And um, you will see that quality in him, you know. He's a gentle giant like the late Don Williams. He's not uh, someone given to uh, making so much noise. Because as a, as a show in said, a tiger does not have to show his tigritude. You don't have to draw attention to yourself uh, needlessly. And look at him in the National Assembly. He's also found himself in leadership position. You know, he, he, he's... 
a man that his future is bright politically because I believe he turned hand here. You know, he, he, still, um, he still has a lot to offer his country. And um, it is our prayer that he will, um, God will give him good health so that he can continue to make meaningful impact. The sort of impact that caused this university mm. to consider him for honor. Speak with the VC. The VC is from my hometown. Uh, Ikenade is a fantastic historian, was my senior in the university. The VC will tell you a lot about the things that Faleke would do without anybody knowing. That's the sort of person that he is. And um, it has pleased God to honor him on a day like this. Mm. Mm. So congratulations to member representing Ikeja Federal